Hey guys, that's the Scout here, and uh, today I'll be showing you how to get your screens, your three screens, or two screens. And I've, I've got three, so we're going to use three, but you could do two. But how to do your three screens into a single screen for, like, racing games. Um, you could probably use it for other games too, but specifically today we're going to be doing it for Forza Motorsport 7. So we'll go ahead and click on Forza Motorsport 7, get it started going. What you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to have um, NVIDIA control panel. You don't already have that. Um, I suggest getting it. This is for NVIDIA graphics, obviously, but uh, I don't, this is just for NVIDIA graphics. I'm assuming, I really don't know. All I know is, is this is how I do it. I have a NVIDIA graphics card, so this is what we are doing it with. NVIDIA control panel for NVIDIA graphic card. NVIDIA graphics cards. Meh. Um, I have a, uh, whatever, I, I have a graphics card, nonetheless. So, we hit the exit button, and then we've obviously got this loaded up, you know. Um, what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna open NVIDIA control panel, which is this, and it's gonna start on this screen. You don't really care about the screen. The screen means nothing right now. So what you want to click on is this configure surround physics. Click on that. I'll pull up this. You can see what kind of processor you got here. You can select processor. You can have it auto select your processor for you. I know which processor I wanted to use, which is my graphics card, my NVIDIA GeForce. So I click span display with surround and then you click configure. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring up your configuration window. You've got topology section. So you got where if you can do it with two screens or three screens. Which you have to select the screen, so you go like boom, boom, boom. And you can do it vertically. Which is this one. This is vertical if you wanted to do vertical. So, nonetheless, I'm going back to one by three. Um, my screens are configured in from left to right. Two, three, one. So, we will then. So, if I move this over so we can actually see what's going on, it's going to put it in a resolution of 5760 1080 at a 60 hertz refresh rate because that is the fastest refresh rate out of my three monitors. Um, one of them is a TV, so that kind of makes sense. Um, I'm going to hit enable surround. Now it's going to bring up a surround setting um, in that 5780. So now that I got that going, I do not know what it's recording right now. I'm not even sure if it can record anything. Um, but you're gonna load up Forza now. Alright guys, so it was at this point inside the video that I realized that, uh, yeah, when I click to open the game, cut that down so maybe I can, uh, talk over it. Um, when I click to load the game in my video earlier, uh, it just kind of went to a blank screen and then shows the left window later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all, um, what's going on there so what you gotta do is load this to get it to load right um, i'm not going to do it inside a, a 5760 by 1080 because that is the problem that i ran into so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to options video and you're going to want to change this resolution which is probably standard set it in 1920 by 1080 you're going to want to set that to it might you know if based on what your screen settings are it might be like you know, 4 4k but what you're going to do is go to native window resolution and that's going to be whatever you set that at so if you've set it at 5760 by 1080 it's going that's going to make it to where you can use all three screens for your racing um thanks for tuning in um 
going to let y'all get back to the video now. Also, a quick note, when you're out of the game and you're ready for it to go back to normal, you just click this Disable Surround. Now, if you don't want the 1, 2, and 3 still on your screen during that time, you can click the Sex button up here. Oh, man, I'm on the wrong screen. You can click the Sex button, and it's going to take that away. And then you can just click to this check mark here and hit Apply, and it's going to close it all down for you anyways, so you don't have to leave that open. Once that's all done, you notice that your side screens will not be available at this time. Um, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to go here, Display Settings. And you're going to want to re-enable those as extended desktop top displays. And they'll pull back up. Keep changes. And now you have uh, completed closing it down. <laughs> Once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see anything else.